Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well today I wanted to practice some more with uh, bipolar percussion. I've had people uh, recommend why don't I start napping. Make a bopper and do some pressure flaking with a nail up inside of a branch. And I'm, I'm not interested in napping. With bipolar percussion you could take like one of the bottoms of these bottles and have an anvil stone on the bottom and a hammer stone on top and just beat away at this edge and yes even with this glass come up with a concordial fracture which makes nice blades. I'm just after some blades. I'm after ending up with this being a good blade and then the shards that I knock off of this. But um, I hope you saw uh, one of my other videos. I'll put the link right here where we took these bottles slammed down on the top of it. Well, I, f I filled them with water like an inch from the top of the, from the top. Slammed down on the top and caused the bottom to break out. Isn't it interesting how they all keep breaking in the same way? And you can sort of see this on the slow motion. This piece here, there. Look at that. And they're all breaking like this. The bottom, I think, I think what's happening, let me get this bug off my neck. I think what's happening is, I think that I'm holding it like this and I'm dampening all the vibrations all the vibrations right around here with my hand and this part here that has the least amount of coverage I think that's why this shard comes up this way so I think the cavitation down here which I just I explained cavitation on the other video the cavitation down here breaks the bottom out and usually pushes the bottom forward and because there's no vibration dampening right here. I think that's why this piece comes out right there. So the bottom kicks out, which peels this piece off too. Kind of fascinating to me. And in that same video where I put the link right here, same thing right here, even to this very thin bottle. goes on somehow so I hit it on top and I believe these two bottles instead of using my hand I had to use like a a pine baton a pine club and I hit it on top well, once again this bottles filled up to within two inches from the top of the neck I hit it with that club which causes the bottom to peel off this way and as it's going that way it takes this big shard out right here. It takes this big shard out, and I think it's because I was probably holding it like that, and there's no vibration dampening right there. Well, I think I'm going to position myself differently. On all my videos so far, I've been sort of standing this way to the camera, and all the action is happening here and sometimes over there. I think the next time we do this, if I stand right here, sort of facing the camera, you can see stuff that comes out to the front, and then the blowouts that happen off to the side. So, but today, I'm not going to do any bipolar percussion on this. I want to get a hold of this champagne bottle. I've had a few comments online that say, Surely this is a champagne bottle because it's so thick and because of the lip right here so big for where the wire where they wire the cork in Let's get a hold of this with bipolar percussion to see if we can knock off some good shards on this and If you want to wear safety glasses and gloves 
it would be advisable to do that. that to the side in case it's got a good sharp edge on it. I changed my mind. I am going to put my shades on. I didn't know I'd be making that much powder. Now I'm not sure how I go from the bevel being on this side to having a bevel on this side too. Let's play around with it a little bit. I did get an edge on this side now, so I have an edge here and an edge here. not sharp though. None of these are sharp. Must be the chemical makeup of the glass. Well, that's what I'm talking about right there with a concordial fracture right here. So that might be a good knife blade. We'll try that on some denim or some fabric. Let's see if we can knock off some more of these. Now I can use these. And if this, if I get a sharp edge here, I can use that. Another concordial fracture from right there. Good. I might end up with some blades out of this after all. Boy, that's a thin one right there. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's another blade. All right, we got enough blades. Let me clean this mess up and we'll see if some of these blades will cut fabric. That's my thinnest blade right there. Let's try it. It does not feel sharp at all. That feels sharp right there. Let's try it. It might not feel sharp because I've got such thick calluses on my hands, but it's sharp enough to cut that. Let's try another blade. This little curved piece of glass is pretty sharp. 
Let me show you again. too. See if I have another curved piece over there. Slightly curved, but that's because of the concordial fracture that it's curved. Let's see if it's sharp also. Yep. You reckon that's going to be a pattern? Finding pieces that are somewhat curved, somehow they tend to be the sharpest? Or is it a coincidence? It's the most curved portion of this blade. Let's try it. Going through a double seam right there. Last of all, we've got our base piece. This looks like the most curved area right here. Let's try that. Pretty sharp. Let me get a handful of them. We'll say our goodbyes. Ah, there's all of our little blades and our base piece here. Do you ever think about um, what if you had to butcher meat or clean fish? What about all the little pieces? You know there's pieces of blade getting in the meat. Wonder what effect that has on your digestive system. I tried to look it up on Google and according to what I see on Google, it says that our system, our digestive system can deal with passing sharp pieces of glass and stuff like that without it hurting us. Very rare, they said it's very rare that somebody swallows something sharp and it causes problems. But you know, anybody could say something on, on Google, on YouTube. But um, otherwise, I'd be butchering meat, cutting meat, cleaning fish, cleaning squirrel and stuff. But I'm not so sure I want those particles in my meat. What do you think? All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.